Welcome to the Neuronauts Classroom. In this video, we are going to explore what some of the different parts of your brain do. Your brain is a control centre of everything you think, feel and do. Your brain gets messages from your senses about the world around you and sends messages to your body, telling it what to do. It also makes it possible for you to remember things, solve problems, have emotions, imagine things and think about all sorts of stuff. But how can your brain do so many things, and all at the same time? Scientists don't have all the answers to that question yet, because your brain is so complicated. But we do know that your brain is made up of different parts that have special jobs. We also know that all the different parts of the brain send messages to each other and work together. A bit like a sports team, where everyone has a different job, it has to work together to reach their goal. The biggest part of your brain is the part of your brain that you usually think of when someone talks about the brain. The part that looks a bit like a giant wrinkly walnut. This part of your brain has a special name. It's called the cerebrum. The cerebrum, or your brain, is made up of two halves called the left and right hemispheres, which are connected so that they can send messages to each other. Each side of your brain controls what the opposite side of your body does. So the left side of your brain controls your right arm and leg, and the right side of your brain controls your left arm and leg. Each half of your brain also has special jobs. The left side of your brain is usually better at things like science, maths, problem solving, talking and writing. So you use the left side of your brain more when you're doing maths homework, talking to a friend, writing spelling words or trying to work out how to prank your friend. The right side of your brain is more creative. It is home to your imagination and helps you to be good at things like art or music. So the right side of your brain would be busier when you are daydreaming instead of doing your homework, enjoying your favourite music, or painting a picture of a pretend island. Many parts of your brain have special jobs. Let's look at a few. There is a part of your brain that sends messages to your muscles so you can move your body how you want to. So this part of your brain lets you jump, kick a ball, or pick up a pencil. What other things can you think of that this part of your brain helps you with. Another part of your brain lets you feel things you touch. Like patting a cat, feeling a hot water bottle or standing on a sharp stone. What other things can you think of that this part of your brain might help you with? There are other parts of your brain that help you to do things like taste, hear and see and to understand the information from these senses. There's even a special part of your brain that is mainly for recognising people's faces. The front part of your brain helps you to concentrate, plan and solve problems. It also controls some of your emotions and gives you your personality. You use this part of your brain all the time to make decisions, like what you eat or drink for breakfast in the morning as well as to pay attention to what is important and ignore what isn't. There are many other parts of your brain that have special jobs, just like the ones we have just discovered. Each part is important and they all work together all of the time, even when you are sleeping. There are other parts of your brain that are hidden deep inside your cerebrum that also have important jobs like storing your memories so that you can remember things. Your brain can store all sorts of things for you, like things that have happened to you, facts, people, and everything you have ever tasted, heard, seen, touched, or smelled. As well as the cerebrum, which we have discovered does lots of important jobs for you, there are two smaller parts of your brain that you need to be able to do all the things you do. One of these smaller parts is called the cerebellum. 
It looks a bit like a tiny cauliflower, tucked under the back of your cerebrum. This part of your brain is really important for things like keeping your balance and helping to learn actions that we practice a lot so that you don't have to think about them. Without your cerebellum, you wouldn't be able to do things like ride a bike, skateboard, type or learn dance moves and you would fall over all the time. Another small part of your brain that you can find under the cerebrum connects your brain to your spinal cord that runs all the way down the middle of your spine. This part of your brain is called the brain stem. It is a bit like a flower stem with your cerebrum at the top like a strange flower. But it also plays a really important part in controlling the things your body does that you don't even think about. Like breathing, keeping your heart beating and digesting food. What happens when part of your brain gets hurt? If you damage part of your brain, then the jobs that part does don't get done as well anymore. At the moment we are not as good at fixing the brain as we are at fixing things like broken bones because your brain is so complicated and not as well understood. So it is really important to protect your amazing brain from being hurt. You can do this by doing simple things like always wearing a helmet when doing activities like cycling, skateboarding or skiing and always wearing your seatbelt properly in the car. If you look after your brain, it can keep on collecting and sorting all the information from the world around you, thinking, remembering, creating, solving problems and helping your body move. And you can get on with having fun and being you. Thank you for joining us at the Neuronauts Classroom for this video. If you enjoyed it, please check out our other videos about how your brain works. For more information, links and worksheets, please go to ccd.edu.au where you can also find more information about the Neuronauts Brain Science Club and how you can help scientists learn more about how your brain works.